I'm born and raised in Oakland. I'm a proud graduate of Oakland Public Schools. My mom was a teacher in Oakland Public Schools for 40 years. I am very upset about what's been going on in public education in Oakland over the last couple of years. As you can see by what we have going on here today, a lot of the community is also very upset about what's going on. We really feel we've never been included in any of the decisions now going on in the district. We feel like the superintendent has been completely non-responsive to our requests, our demands, and the school board has really been non-responsive also. We have not even been given a good reason why the schools need to close. The reasons have been changing all throughout the process. First, we were told the district was two to three million dollars in deficit. Then the numbers changed. We've been told there's a thousand empty classrooms in Oakland. We know that's not true. They're still building new facilities like La Escuelita. We've been told a lot of things, and at this point, we don't believe or trust any of it. Again, we have not been included in the decision-making process. The district made the decision and then decided to come out to the community and tell us what they were going to do. It's been a rigged game from the start. Schools like Santa Fe, we don't control our enrollment here. The district central office decides how many students to send here. So it's not up to us to control our enrollment. At Santa Fe, also, we were lucky that we had a long tenured principal here for a lot of years. Over this last summer, our principal was moved out and they moved in a new principal from outside the district. We have no one left here to fight for us. It's up to the community and the people to organize together. If you look at a map of the city of Oakland, if this school closes, there is no public elementary school for about a mile in each direction. What are the community members supposed to do who live in this neighborhood? What are the community members supposed to do who live in East Oakland around Maxwell Park? who are facing the same situation that we're facing here. Maxwell Park also was promised that their school would not close when Sherman closed five years ago. It seems the district doesn't remember their promises, doesn't remember what they've told us in the past. And again, we're not going to give up this fight. We are very, very upset. Almost every school board member is up for election in the fall. But personally, I don't think that's soon enough to change these decisions. If we stand up now, if we work together now, if we demand better now, we can change these things. Like I said, I was a graduate of Oakland Public Schools. I got a world-class education, especially in elementary school. My education got me to UC Berkeley. My younger brother's education got him to the Ivy League and he's now a lawyer. I don't see that education available to these students today. And it's really a shame and actually it's really criminal. And I'm really hoping at this point people are finally fed up and people are finally down to get together and demand that our schools will not be given away. Because that's the other thing that they're not telling us. If this school closes, it will open again in the fall as a charter school. If a charter school comes here, everything in this building the charter school thinks that they're going to have and own for free. That's the community of Oakland, the city of Oakland, the residents of Oakland giving away our assets. We didn't have a say in this. I guarantee you if they took a vote in Oakland and said, do you want to give our schools away to charter schools for nothing, that wouldn't happen. But it's an end run. We have outside forces and outside money inside of Oakland, and they've already taken over the administration. Staff is either inept or corrupt or both. And at this point, we really need to stand up and demand a change in something different. They say there's not enough students in Oakland anymore. They say that there's 15,000 fewer students in Oakland. Go drive around these streets and see if you see less kids. It's almost a direct one-to-one -one correlation between the students we've lost in the public schools and the students now in the charter schools. We know the students aren't fleeing Oakland. What's happening is they are giving away our schools and destroying public education inside the city of Oakland. And I really hope that now people who've lived in Oakland, people who live in the surrounding communities and see it happening to them also, can really start to link and demand better. Because if this goes on, these children are really not going to have a future. Uh, thanks, Michael. Hi, my name is Lena Williams, L-E-N-A, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. And I'm here today because I do have a very serious concern. Um, this is the second school that I've been at that has been closed in this community. And one of my biggest concerns is this is the last school that is a public school 
that is open in the 94608 area code. And so the district has decided to shut the last public school down. And when you have state and federal funds under the Justia law, it says you're supposed to equally use those funds for all children. Unfortunately, in the last 10 years, every single school the school board has closed down has been African American or Latino. If I'm running a company and I have $600 million and I have to downsize, do I just pick African Americans and send them home packing? So I think there's something going on here. And I do hope the community and parents still fight to keep this school open. Thank you. Next we'd like to invite next we'd like to invite Madeline Jackson, who's a parent who walks her daughter. Okay, my name is Madeline Jackson. M A D E L I N E J A C K S O N. When I first found out Santa Fe was closing, I was devastated. Because me and Sabrina walked to school every morning. Stop it. And basically, um, I would just like to say, um, we as a community need to stick together so Santa Fe can remain open. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Therese Pecco. It's T-H-E-A-R-S-E. -E. Last name is P-E-C-O-T. I had to write down what I wanted to say. <laughs> Speak to the camera. Um, I'd first like to thank the media, the community, and parents that came out to support us today. Um, again, I, I get nervous in front of the camera, so I wrote it down. Um, I'm here today, I'm here today to address the Board of Education, what, what they are doing with our school. I'm here to ask them to rescind and to reverse the decision to close Santa Fe School. This is the only neighborhood school left in this community west of North Oakland in the 94608 zip code with a special education resource program that is currently providing five days a week for instruction for children with learning disabilities. Most of our school scholars walk to and from the neighborhood schools daily. Some are escorted by their parents and some are not. The school board has offered no plan to facilitate a safe, and I stress, a safe transportation to and from the next nearest school. Safety is a big issue when dealing with small children. In replacement of their community school, the school board proposes that children take public transportation as a means to get to and from school or walk two or two and a half miles nearest schools. In addition, there has been no plan in a place for transportation for kids with learning disabilities. The school board has proposed bus tickets for Santa Fe children by lottery only. That's no guarantee because no parent has yet found out which families will receive these bus tickets that they propose to give them. Um, let's see. Oh, and they are not proposing to give them to parents. So parents that are not able to take their children or, or cannot afford to take their children to school will be facing truancy when they do not trust the public transportation to get their children to school safely. And again, I stress, um, please save Santa Fe School. These are some of our scholars, and they want to say their Santa Fe pledge. All right. Please. All right. Yeah. Ready, set, go. I am a Santa Fe School scholar. I am repair pump and positive. I come to school ready to learn. I am kind to everyone and respectful of their belongings. I solve conflicts in a peaceful way. I always do my best. Good. 
at first I don't see. Try, try, try again. If it is to me, it is up to me. I am proud who I am. I am James the excess administrators because I looked at a chart because they love data. I looked at a chart and it's chock full of administrators. If you look at the same chart three years ago, it's about one third as full. They have added administrators. We said look at recombining some of the schools before you start closing other schools. Well, they've come around to deciding they're not going to continue to close schools next year. They've changed their mind on that. But what they've done instead is to continue the destabilization of the schools in Oakland. Now they have a plan for the three high schools that under Gates money were split apart in 2000, 2001. Now they're putting Castlemont, Fremont, and they just put McClymonds back together, kind of a Humpty Dumpty effect. And they have wiped out all the teaching, teaching positions, and they are replacing them with something they have called acceleration teachers on special assignment, who will work 11 months, get paid more. When we said, where do you get the money for this? And I want to refer back to the gentleman who spoke. They always seem to be able to find money when they need it. They said, oh, we've got it. So they can find money for that, but as one teacher at Fremont just wrote, they can't find money for a librarian at Fremont or at Castlemont. So in the schools of greatest need, from the elementary schools all the way through the high schools, they're going about the business of their strategic plan, and the real game underneath that is privatization. So I really applaud all the teachers and the students and the parents and the community that have come out today. If you're wondering why there aren't more kids here, I was told by two teachers that the administration, 10 minutes before school was out, said, lock the doors, they're all going out the back, they're going out one by one, they're not going to go out where they usually come. You would have seen hundreds of kids coming out today, but they didn't want that to happen. They've got their uh, Troy Flint, the head of communications for the Oakland Unified School District in there, and they're trying to put a damper on this. But uh, behind the scenes, make no mistake, because I deal with them day in and day out, they are working on completely disrupting the education for students in this community and in, throughout Oakland. So I want to um, encourage everybody to come to the school board meeting a week from tomorrow, the 28th. OEA is having a rally first at Fremont to support the teachers there, many of whom do not have any intention of reapplying for their jobs because that's the other thing. It's supposedly all about the kids, but they'll have to reapply for their jobs and then they have no security year after year that they'll be in the same position. So students are going to be mostly impacted because they won't know if their teachers are coming back. I talked to a teacher this afternoon, similar to the elementary schools. Will you be back next year? I don't know. So that kind of destabilization is absolutely criminal for students. It's absolutely, it would not be tolerated in some of the suburban districts around Oakland. And we can't tolerate it either. So come to the school board. We'll have a rally at 4.30 outside of the school board and then go into the school board and speak. I hope there'll be people there from all the closing schools, from all the high schools where they're having their jobs completely re, re, redesigned. Uh, and from all of the teachers and students and parents that are being affected by this privatization move. Thank you. Thank you. First, I mean, kindergarten through elementary school, like my whole time I went here, graduated here. I know Ms. Walter Dubal, Ms. Rose, a lot of teachers here. And for them to close this school, and it's, this is like the only school in this area, like of North Oakland, like if anybody didn't know, this is the only elementary school that's left in North Oakland that's not like privatized, the Golden Gate is privatized. So like for them to close this school, there will be no more schools that Speaking elementary of. schools inside this community. So they don't need to close this school. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, Mom.